What's going on everyone, it's Kaf, back with a real quick review and I am fresh out of surgery, got a little scar here so I'm not really going to be turning my face that way, but you don't care about that, boom, 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 the Sean Wotherspoon Air Max 197, my grail for 2018. I don't think there'll be another sneaker release or Air Max release at least that I will be going for more than I wanted this. And I managed to get them for 130 plus six pounds for express delivery. Shout out to the guys at Offspring HQ. Managed to get this from Offspring and paid for. I don't get shoes sent to me free, so disclaimer. These are amazing. Let's get straight into the review. Oh. Okay, first off, before we get into anything, they come with three separate laces. You got the white laces with the extra badge or tongue badge, because obviously the uh, tongue badge that comes with it is the Sean Weatherspoon Waves heritage to his home in LA. I believe it's LA and the beach is there. Uh, that was the culture that inspired the creation of this beautiful Air Max 197. You've also got some uh, blue laces. I don't know if that's lagoon blue or teal blue. And you've also got some purple laces. Essentially, it's all the colors on the upper. Let's get straight into this review and I'm gonna do some quick B-roll for you. Let's go. Okay, so for those who don't know, the shoe was designed by Sean Wotherspoon, who is a vintage store owner. Uh, he assembled a group over pizza one night and tried to bring together people who represent different types of sneakerheads, collectors, consumers and styles. Uh, Sean Wotherspoon has a, had a friend in sketching who sketched out all the ideas and threw out quite a few. The original design was a complete brown corduroy upper uh, or a complete denim one. Uh, they then decided to go with multi-colours that were sort of like a pastel, a pa pastel iteration of colours uh, and the design and inspiration was that was from a variety of Nike hats that he had which included brown, uh, included green and purple. In the end, Sean feels that he was subconsciously inspired to go with more pastel colors to match his own uniform staple and white t-shirt. Now, the colors on this is amazing. You got pastel yellow, you got gray, you got like a pastel pink, uh, pastel teal, purple, and this looks like green. All made of a corduroy material. We got the brown on the lateral center and also the medial center with a golden yellowish pastel Nike swoosh. Uh, on the lateral side, obviously you've also got a blue mini teal swoosh at the uh, toe box uh, and you've got a red air unit or red air bubble. Uh, these are amazing. You've also got the uh, yellow upper, the yellow laces and on the laces you've got this nice little gold hip at the end on the, uh, I believe they're called aglets. And my favorite feature is probably the suede in, in inside, the suede on the inside and the suede insole with also a have a Nike day badge with a smiley face which has been pretty much the full force of the whole campaign for this sneaker. The outsole again made up of rubber and you've got grey, pastel pink, blue and pastel yellow and on the back you've got homage to his home county of LA or VA to LA. The shoe wouldn't have been made possible without the inspiration from VA to LA uh, on the pull tab. These are a beautiful shoe. There's not much more I can say about them other than I am very lucky to be the proud owner of these. There was absolute madness for these. these. Uh, a lot of the stores in the UK that did first come, first serve, there was a lot of gangs circling around. I don't want to blame resellers or proxies, but I know that collectors, well, some collectors might fight for these, but from what I understand, there hasn't been any fights. I'm very fortunate to have these. I'm very, very fortunate to have these. And I'm gonna do some on-foot shots for you right now so you can see what they look like with just a pair of joggers.
as I said, I came out of surgery yesterday, so I'm feeling a little bit dizzy, but let me know your thoughts, whether you guys were able to cop, or if you got the L, what are you gonna be looking at next? Because there's so many releases. If you weren't able to cop these, please do not fret. I've also got Jordan Game Royals coming. Can't wait for them, because I said I was gonna sort out my Jordan 1 collection this year. I got the Flynets as a sort of placeholder, but now I've got the Bread Toes and the Royals are on the way. All I know is everyone was so focused on getting these and the Tinker Hatfield Jordan 3s that they forgot about the Jordan 1s releasing on other apps and websites. I managed to secure the Jordan 1s from Foot Patrol, but I know people on the Sneakers app trying to get these and the Tinker 3s and they forgot about the Jordan 1s. Uh, the Jordan 1s obviously were on the Sneakers app as well and they sold out, but I just snuck in through the back door on some other apps. Foot Patrol had them loaded up at eight o'clock, so I went straight there uh, because I'd already bought these, so there was no point. Um, I caught an L on the Tinkers, but that's just the way it goes. Catch an L, move on to the next one. Anyway, I've been Kath. You men have been amazing. You girls have been amazing. You lot have been amazing. And yeah, I love them. Sean Wotherspoon, Air Max 197. Hope you enjoyed the review. And I shall see you soon. Bleh!